Hello, it's John Moody here, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my new Moody's Louvered Shutters. These are for Blender 3.5 and higher, and they're based on geometry nodes, so you can do pretty much anything you'd like with them. So here are the shutters. Here is a house with uh, various windows on it, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Append, and we're going to find Moody's louvered shutters. Actually, first let's make sure that some other collection other than window collection is highlighted. Then let's go to append and find Moody's louvered shutters. Go to collection and Moody's louvered shutters. Okay. Once they're there, uncheck the shutter parts and make sure Moody's louvered shutters are selected. All right, now we need to get the shutters to the windows. So let me start here. And the pivot point here is in the center of the window. So if I move the cursor to that pivot point, then that'll be right in the center. Let me try that. Cursor to selected. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Moody's louvered shutter and go, sorry, shift S selection to cursor. And now the windows are in the, or the shutters are in the right place. So um, I just changed the width. I'm also going to change the height. And I found that most of these shutters are right, kind of even with this top ledge here, or the, the bottom part of the top sill. Okay? And generally, these little middle bars um, are in line with the middle bar of the window. So, Let's go middle bar and just kind of get that midway through the window. Maybe a little higher. Um, I want these this window to fit in between here. And so I'm going to go a shutter width. That looks about right. Okay, so other things we can change here. Um, we can change the density. This is not very dense this way, and this is pretty dense. And we can, we can manipulate so many things with the shutter, you pretty much have to go through all of these different ideas. Uh, one thing straight off the bat are there are two basic types of shutters that you can choose from. One is the straight edge, and the other is a cathedral style, where there's a little bump right there. I'm gonna go with cathedral style. All right, so now I'm going to um, create shutters for these other windows. Let me select this. I'll go um, Shift S to get this pie menu. Go cursor to selected. Hit these. Sh uh, Shift D to duplicate. And now um, Shift S, selection to cursor, and just change the, change the width. That looks about right. Let's try this window. Shift S, cursor to selected, uh, Shift D, and Shift S, selection to cursor. Change the width. Pressing Shift to get more control here. Okay, so here we have the situation where the windows are so close that we really only want this one shutter in between. Uh, so there's a, a solution to that. Um, let's actually get the cursor here, Shift S, cursor to selected, uh, Shift D to duplicate, and now Shift S, selection to cursor. 
Okay, this is the same size, so these pretty much fit. But now I have two shutters on this area, so um, I'm just going to remove the left shutter here. So you have the option of, of removing both shutters or either shutter, whatever. Um, also, you can choose whatever material you'd like. Anyway, these work very easily, especially with Moody's sash window. And I hope you give these a try. Let me look at this uh, with cycles. Very nice, that looks like a nice southern home. Thank you for looking over this video on Moody's Louvered Shutters, and I hope to see you again.